Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie if you're new to my channel and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. I upload three videos a week, beauty, bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, I have a little bit of cleaning motivation for you. Some Saturday cleaning, Sunday cleaning, weekend cleaning, deep cleaning type motivation. So we did go ahead and just start in the kitchen. Right now I'm just going to go ahead and go through the dishwasher and hand dry the dishes because my dishwasher sucks at drying. But we are going to go ahead and get that done and then I'm just going to go ahead and put those dishes away. Once we have all the clean dishes put away, we are going to go ahead and just start loading the dishwasher with the few dishes that I do have in the sink. Right here, I am just preparing to restock the fridge with drinks and snacks and things like that. And so I do keep them in this cabinet and then I also do keep them in the garage and that's why you see me going out empty handed and coming back in with my hands full. Alright and so now we're just going to go ahead and restock the fridge and you'll see basically I'm just making sure it's all restocked and making sure everything's lined up properly and that all the labels are facing the front. I have a thing about labels and then we're just going to kind of clean up and get rid of some old food and that's all we're pretty much doing is restocking and rotating things around in the fridge. And once we're done with the fridge, I am going to go ahead and go back to the garage and get some snacks just to refill like the dry snacks, the ones that don't need to be refrigerated and like get pasta and things like that. And once we're done restocking the cabinets, I am going to go ahead and start cleaning off the counters, rearranging some stuff and just making sure that the countertops are nice and clean and organized and also just keep piling up the trash and getting it ready to get taken out. So now that we have finally taken out the trash, we're going to go ahead and get into some basic cleaning such as wiping down the table, the counters, and just cleaning up the floors, you know, sweeping. I didn't mop this day just because I mop once a week already and I think I had just mopped the night before. Even if it don't look like it, it was mopped. <laughs>
All right, you guys, so this light fixture here has been bothering me for months, and this was the day that I decided to clean it, only to get up there and realize that it was not just dusty, but it was like sticky, and then dust would stick to it, and so it's like it would get sticky, dust would pile on, it would get sticky, dust would pile on. So here in a second, you'll see me take it apart, and then I will clean what I can with the rag, and then I will actually wash the lamp shades in the sink using a sponge that I ended up actually having to throw away with uh, once I was done washing the lamp shades. I really trust my senses, catch me if I fall, so done with second guess, and you seem to have it all, in loving Okay, so now that we're finally done with the kitchen, we are heading over to the living room. Just going to fold some blankets, wipe down the TV, get some things in their places. And also dust the ceiling fan, which I forgot to adjust the camera to show me dusting the ceiling fan to you guys. And also vacuuming the living room. So if you are not new to my channel then you would know that I like to work my way from the front of the house to the back of the house just because usually that's just kind of how things go. Anything that's in the living room needs to be transported to the back of the house so that's why I like working that way. And we're starting with the guest room first. Why this room always happens to be a mess I have no idea. I think my kids just hate me at this point and they like to make my life a little bit harder. So we're just straightening up the bed getting some things in their place in this room. I did organize the closet but I was kind of out of frame and then we're just going to vacuum it. We will still be And 
the next room on the house is the boys bathroom and so you know we're just doing some basic bathroom cleaning stuff refolding their towels and we actually have grounded our boys from standing up peeing because they keep peeing in the trash can peeing on the floor and so until they decide to learn to obey what we have told them like not to intentionally pee in the trash can they will be sitting down but we're just gonna go ahead and you know like I said you clean the bathroom the normal way not doing anything special here When the lights out Next room on the list is the boys room. Their room is always a little bit messy. They are responsible for keeping their room clean and tidy. <clears throat> so any cleaning I do do to this room, it's usually just fixing the beds, making sure the sheets are straight, and the vacuuming harder to reach areas that Ethan maybe can't get. And that's pretty much all I'm really responsible for. And then also putting the essential oils in their diffuser, which Yes, I have diffusers in almost every room in the house. I need to buy one more and I will have one in every single room. I just love it. It keeps the house fresh. Diffusers, um, essential oils also help detoxify the air. They help um, sterilize things. What is the word that I am looking for? It's basically a germ blaster without getting your home germ blasted. But yeah, it helps kill germs in the air and once it lands on things, it kind of just keeps things sanitized. Okay, so somehow I did forget to press record once I got to my room and bathroom. So all I got was me filling up the oil, the essential oil diffuser in my room. And then, yeah, you guys, that is it for this cleaning. Clean with me, cleaning motivation. I'm sorry that you guys couldn't see my room before, but I do have some after shots of the way the house turned out completely. So I hope that you guys enjoyed those.
All right, you guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed the overview of the clean rooms. I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.